very welcome to you and I'm Shanti to all of you. We are here with 21st July Scholarly Blessing. We all want to be free from bondages and we all want to be light in our life and we want our friends and family members to change, right? All of you want it. I understand that. Even I expect that. But are we talking knowledge or are we walking knowledge? That means if you're talking about getting free from lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, are we ourselves free from that? If I get angry on a very small issue every single time, and I ask somebody to become peaceful and to meditate, is that going to work? Think about it. So God says, may you be free from any thoughts or worries by becoming a companion of the almighty authority and having good wishes for everyone. Some children think that so-and-so should become well from his illness. In our family members, we can have somebody who's sick or our friends and we have good hopes for them. That their children or husband comes into knowledge, that they want the child or the husband to be in the knowledge and come into the knowledge and take this seven day course and they want it so badly. That their business should become good, that their work should become good, their business should work well, they should start earning some money. It is good to have those desires, but all of these desires will only be fulfilled in our conditions. When you yourself become light and take power from the Father, if you become heavier, if you try to control everybody's life, because God has said every soul is a fixed soul. You cannot create a soul, you cannot destroy a soul. That means there's a fixed mind, there's a fixed intellect, there's a fixed habit. It takes time to change them. And if you want them to change in one day, quickly, right now change your behavior, right now change your thoughts, right now change your decisions. I'm sorry to say, and God says it's not going to happen, but you're going to get irritated, you're going to get frustrated, and you're going to get very angry trying to change them right now. So God says, you change yourself. Look at their drama, look at their acting as a detached observer. Don't get too involved into why this, why that, why not this, why not that. You can tell them what to do, but if you have attachment to the outcome of what you tell them what how to do, then that's difficult because you cannot control everything. So God says, you can only control yourself and that's easier part to do than controlling others because other people will make you angry and frustrated if you try to change their part. And you're going to become heavier and then doing meditation will be difficult. So look at the paths as a detached observer and focus on connecting to God. Remain lighter in your intellect and do that. God then says, for this, the vessel of your intellect has to be empty. Intellect has got many pictures of the past, the present, and the future. And it has to be empty. Only then can you connect to the Creator. If you've got worries about your father, mother, brother, sister, daughter, son, then you already have so much. You'd have very little space for your Creator. Godfather. It, if you wish to benefit everyone, become an embodiment of power yourself. First you become powerful, overcome anger, greed, ego, jealousy because they're going to say, you yourself are getting angry. What is the point of going to Brahma Kumaris? There's no change in you. Why should we go? By becoming companion of the almighty authority and move along while having good wishes for everyone. Be free from any thoughts or worries and do not get trapped in any bondage. Thoughts or worries? And any kind of thoughts of overthinking are bondages in a person's life. Whether that bondage is with a friend, with a son, daughter, brother, sister, husband, wife. It is a bondage. And that's what God has come to get us free from. And he's explaining that to us. To learn more about it, do visit the Brahma Kumai Center. Om Shanti with this.